All right, so for those who don't know or don't have a clue, and believe me, I understand you might not, this is the internet after all, um, this is Julie Larson Green. Now, Julie Larson Green is actually the executive vice president of Microsoft, and she is um, the head of the newly formed um, Device and Studios Engineering Group. Basically, long story short, she's in charge of she's in charge of Xbox One and uh, the tablet Surface products. Okay, so we got that out the way. Now, um, she has been kind of she has a great background in turning things on its ass, basically. And one question has to kind of go out and say: Is she the hero that Xbox needs right now? Because Xbox needs a hero. You know, they they definitely need a hero right now. They need someone to go ahead and step in and turn it on its ass. And she does have a history of that. Let me go ahead and kind of tell you a little bit about this woman before we go into anything else here. Um, long story short, um, when she first um, tried to go ahead and apply for Microsoft, she actually was passed up. That's right. She didn't get the job at first. Later on, Microsoft decided to go ahead and hire her, but she didn't get the job at first. I think because uh, she didn't have enough technical skills. She was more business than technical, which is understandable and whatnot. Um, but then, when she was hired, basically, keep in mind, that uh, before I even get to where she was hired, she is a woman who actually um, went to school, taught herself C++, and all this while she was busting tables. That's right, she's a rags to riches kind of girl, you know, I'm just saying. That might be something, that, that might be something that Microsoft needs right now. That might be something that Xbox needs right now. Um, Xbox, in my opinion, it's been kind of it's been run by people who don't know how it is to struggle. So now that we have Miss Green on um, at the helm, you know this actually may turn out to be a real good decision by Microsoft. Um, to keep on going, though, she was basically responsible for the transition for I think it was Office 2003, Office 2007, and Office XP. Basically, the the user interface, which, by the way, for those who don't know, the user interface part was one of the most best transitions for the Office products that I've ever seen in my life. And I've basically I've used the Office before, and all of a sudden, when that happened, at first I was like, yeah, I don't know, but then after that, I was like, damn, yes. Not only that, but she actually, because of those transitions that you did, the transformations, if you will, she actually won the Outstanding Technical Excellence Award for this whole redesign. Not only that, but you guys remember uh, this little thing called Windows Seven? That's right. Windows 7 was a great operating system to this day. A lot of people rather use Windows 7 than Windows 8. Understandable, but guess what? That was also the creation of Miss Larson Green. That's right. Windows 7 was a creation of Miss Larson Green. Not creation per se, but she did really help out with this particular um, operating system so much that she really, I mean, she really had a hand in it. Y'all guys don't get understand that. Um, what else? She took over... Um, Windows for a short time. This is how good she did. She did such a hell of a job with Windows 7. They gave her the goddamn whole thing when, um, I think, um, how you say, Sinovsky or how you the his last name? When he left, they gave her the whole goddamn division. That's how good she is. You know? So, when, why am I telling you this? Because I really want to know. Is she the hero that Microsoft needs? Is she the hero that Xbox needs right now? And I honestly do believe that, uh, that she is definitely that person. I mean, let's just kind of talk about this for a second. I mean, granted, when she was hired, a lot of people was like, oh, you see a lot of haters say a whole bunch of sexist things. You know, of course they can say sexist things. They're protected by the internet. So, when they're, you know, when people are protected, they get, you know, they grow balls, basically. They're, they're digital fake balls, but you get the idea. Um, so, let me just kind of go with you and talk about the whole transformation that this woman has done for Xbox. Now, remember, Xbox, when it was ran by Don Matrix, or whatever the hell his name is, it was Xbox One that is what's fucked up from the floor up. In fact, in fact, if you really think about it, um, Xbox Live was owned by, I forget who was owned at the time, um, he got, excuse me, I forget who owned, who, not owned it, who was in charge of it, but when he left and Matrix came aboard, it went from a, a gaming system to a television system, and it honestly did, I mean, it's not the problem, I have a problem with that, you know, you know, albeit we all get mad because people like to do more than just play video games all day long. But, I mean, at the same time, you know, it was like, okay, hold on, dude. You got television like a motherfucker right here. So, when, and, but when, Do and that's what happened when Don Matrix took aboard. But when Don Matrix was, were removed or kicked out or whatever he was, then came her. Now, what changes did she make? Well, first and foremost, she made it so now indie developers at any point in time can go ahead and uh, put their games on Xbox. On Xbox One, then. I believe Xbox 362. So that's a good thing right there. So any developers can now go ahead and put their games directly on the system with no problem at all. 
Uh, remember that whole internet connection thing? Uh, originally, you had to go ahead and um, check in at least every 24 hours. That was the dream child of Don Matrix. Honestly, what the hell was he thinking? But when she took in charge, he was like, no. She was like, no, take that off. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. It was a great move by her. I'm just saying, I mean, hold on. Let's keep on going before I do this. Can you lend your games to your family and friends? Um, through a certain way you could? But now, when she took in charge, now you can do it any way you want to, just like you, well, not any way you want to, but you can do it just like you did with the Xbox 360. Lend it to your family, lend it to your friends, bada bing, bada boom, there you go. You know? Um, what, remember the, can you play uh, pre-owned games? Honestly, not a lot of people were sure about that, because there were some things rumored around, and there were things thrown around, but honestly, nobody actually got a straight answer. Nobody could figure it out, and I think because Microsoft never had a straight answer, they were trying to figure out how, which way they were going to do it, too. But when Miss Larson Green came on the scene, giggity, you like that joke, it rhymed? Yeah. Um, happy accent, of course. Uh, yes, you could absolutely play used pre-owned games at any point in time that you wanted to. It just keeps on going. How about the headset? Back in the day when Microsoft was in charge, I mean, I'm not really like that, when um, Don Matrix was in charge, they were like, no! You can't go ahead and buy, get a brand new headset for the system. Why are you nuts? Nuts! Nuts! Use Connect! But when Miss Larson Green came on the scene, then, <laughs> there we go, yeah. um, that's when it got even better, because not only did you get a headset for the Xbox One, but you got a better headset, a better dynamic of a headset, better um, construction of a headset. Not only that, but everything is better about the headset, even got them down to the actual um, control thing. You know, where you would turn off and on the actual, um, what do you call it, turn off and on the... The, the like you know muted or turn the volume up or down it's actually built into the area where you plug in the headset to the actual controller instead of being on a wire somewhere which is a fantastic move by Microsoft I love that or, or by Miss Green should I say I love that it makes it a hell of a lot better and I now I ain't gotta find the actual control the muted or whatever it's right there next to my controller right where it should be we're not connect remember that I just talked about that a couple of days ago connect it was like oh no you need connect you know you can't even run the system if you don't got connect now they're like nah dude you don't need no connect fuck connect you know so that was a hand by Miss Larson Green so, and the list just goes on and on and on right now. But, to be honest with you, I really, not only do I think that, uh, this is, how do I put this? I don't think that, not only do I not think that, um, she is the hero that Xbox needs, but I think that this really stands as a testament to girl power right here. Because she literally came up in here, in your house, nigga. She walked up in your shit and just changed shit around. Now, of course... That being said, you know, the haters are still hating. Right now, the haters are so desperate to hate that they're trying to hate on batteries. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, they trying to hate on batteries. Oh, God, they got, this thing uses AA batteries. Oh, my God, you know. Granted, we already talked about how AA, uh, how a lithium battery in this kind of controller would not be a good thing because, you know, it drains uh, battery life way too quickly. But, you know, I'm just saying. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, honestly, uh, things are getting real close now, guys. Things are getting real, real, real close now. At first, I gotta admit, I really wasn't interested in the act. I was interested in the controller. Hell yeah. I was like, get that shit working for the PC. And, but, uh, you know, now, uh, I don't know, dude. I gotta say, I, I, I'm thinking that it's almost, it's damn close to being pretty even right now. When it comes down to which one is better, the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One. It's, it's pretty goddamn even. You know, neither system right now has any um, really strong, worthwhile games. At least, has been announced since I've done this video. There's some good games out there, don't get it wrong. But nothing now, I need to go ahead and purchase a uh, $39.99 uh, console for I'm just saying. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think. You guys have a good night. Zep is out. デザートはいらぬか